my YouTube, long time no see. I'm gonna scrub this beard right off to create that feminine face. I'm gonna take my EOS lip balm and moisturize my lips and moisturize my face with Embryolisse Late Cream and let that soak into the skin and really, really prep the skin and make it nice and plump. Next, I'm gonna take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and dot that north, south, east, and west all over the skin and let that squeeze and soak into my face for that flawless finish. It will prep my skin beautifully for the foundation. And my foundation that I'm using is Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the color 170. 170. Now I'm gonna squeeze a couple pumps onto my Morphe Kabuki brush. I love this brush. I use it for it any and every foundation that I have on myself. I love it because it gives me that fuller, flawless coverage. But this foundation is super pigmented and light. Just make sure to shake the bottle. Next, I'm gonna take my full coverage foundation in the color NC45 by MAC and concentrate this on my cheeks where I have more hyperpigmentation. I'm gonna take that and just stipple it on. Next, I'm gonna take this Benefit foundation stick and highlight under my eyes and on the high points of my face. I love this product. It was given to me by a friend and I just happen to use it and it's in a stick form and it's super easy to apply. And again, I take that um, Morphe brush and stipple it onto my face. I find stippling gives me the most coverage and I love this product. Next, I'm going to set that with my trusty airspun and makeup forever powder puff. Next, I'm gonna take that um, Benefit, that same Benefit stick and highlight under my brows. And I'm going to take Groundwork and I'm going to blend that into the concealer or the foundation stick onto the lid to prep for eyeshadow. I love Groundwork and it's gonna create that perfect base for the brown shadows. I'm gonna take uh, Texture and Soft Brown. These are the lightest transition colors that I have and blend it in. Next, I'm gonna take uninterrupted and work my way down from lightest colors to the mid-tone and then next the darkest. But I'm just working my way down with a fluffy brush to create that perfect blend. I'm gonna take a flat Morphe brush and mix in Swiss chocolate and handwritten eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna pat that onto the mobile lid in like a half moon shape. And I'm not closing my eyes at all. I'm keeping my eyes open and why that way I can see the shape that I'm getting and I just want to make sure that everything is balanced properly so with that being said I'm gonna take my uninterrupted mustard eyeshadow by Mac and stick that into the socket and blend it in blending is super super key like with the transition colors laid out you don't have to blend the color I feel like most um, people think if you take a dark color and just blend it out it's gonna create that that transition but it's really not it's the secret is in the transition colors once you're done blending you're gonna take that and redefine the colors on the lid and that will just redefine the darkness and make sure that the transition goes from dark to light next I'm going to take those same handwritten and Swiss chocolate and start that on the bottom so we're going to create that same exact fade that we did on the top for that sexy smoky sultry eye and that's what we're going to do with a pencil brush and i'm going to take again um handwritten and swiss chocolate i love these colors together because it creates that perfect chocolate brown without looking too gray i'm going to take uninterrupted eyeshadow again and then like we did on the top in the socket we're going to blend in on the bottom since I am choosing to do bottom lashes I think the smokier the better and then next we're gonna take smolder eyeshadow and then then um, the colors are already prepped for us underneath the eye and what we're gonna do is blend that out in the next step and what this does now you can see that it, your transition goes from black to brown to like a light brown to your skin. That way it's not just black and then lashes. I think creating that smoky effect really, really helps in supporting the whole look. 
Next, I'm going to take these spoiled rich lashes um, that were sent to me by Sadai Banks. Thank you so much, girl. I love these lashes for the bottom. These are typically for the top, but um, I love the wispies for the bottom, especially for a smoky, sexy look that we're going for today. And these tweezers came with the lashes. They're super cute, like feminine, and they're like little dancing ladies. Um, I placed the lashes underneath my own lashes to create um that fuller effect that way it'll blend easier you do not want to put the lashes in the waterline so i'm going to take um wispy lashes on the top and these ones i got from new york at alcone and i stack two pairs on top and then i have one pair on the bottom and as you guys can see i do not have any liner on the top because the lash band is so thick and um, this look is like a go-to for me when I'm in a rush. So no liner. Next, I'm going to take this mineralized skin finish um, by MAC in the color medium dark. And I'm going to take that onto a kabuki brush that I got from Target years ago for $6. And then just um, buff that into the skin to knock that color into my face. Next, I'm going to take this Pro Sculpting Powder by MAC Pro. You can only find it at um, the Mac Pro near you or online, and it's in the color Emphasize. I'm going to highlight um, the high points of my face, like under the eyes, my nose, and everywhere else that I want to be to bring forward. Next, I'm going to take this Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and this fan brush that was sent to me by one of my followers. Thank you so, so, so much. Um... As you guys know, like my fan brush was like my go-to years ago, like when I wanted to snatch my nose. Um, but this has been like one of my favorite brushes and it got ruined by my brother with some dual lash glue, but I'm so thankful that I got it back. So thank you so much. Next, I'm going to take my dark mineralized skin finish and sculpt the face because I want to bring those features back and I want to look skinty hunty so that's what we're going to do is contour this is actually my favorite part and then to redefine I'm going to take a hair and makeup addiction brush and then contour the most hollow parts of my face with this um, cover effects powder in B45 and it has that nice reddish tint so I'll get that nice tan and I love this brush to apply those deep contours next i'm going to take my favorite blush of the moment it's peaches by mac and it's not in the palette as you can see it's by itself because i love this and it goes super super pretty with my shy girl lipstick this has been my go-to look with my go-to blush it creates that perfect coral flirty beachy effect like as far as colors not as far as finish because this look is far from natural so we're gonna take um spiked eyebrow pencil and then lightly brush it through the brows and next we're gonna take cork lip pencil by mac and this brownie color just rounds out the look because i still want my lips to look defined but not too naked so feathering this cork and blending it into the lip is really going to help the shy girl coral lipstick stand out so this is my favorite lipstick and it's beautiful it's coral it's flirty and it goes super super beautiful with a smoky eye and i love it i'm going to take stila lip gloss in kitten and that's the finished look you guys Thank you guys for supporting me. I know I haven't been on YouTube as often. I'm trying my best to put out videos for you guys, but I absolutely love this look. This has been my go-to look for the year as of 2014 for the past couple months. It's super easy. I don't have to do a wing liner. I don't have to do anything too fancy. And I get so many compliments um, on the lips and the eyes because it's just super elegant, natural, beautiful, sexy and sultry who doesn't want to be but please check out my other videos and please rate comment and subscribe